of Biotechnica. This is Caroline Green. Today's video is going to be for bachelor students. So you might be thinking why there is always an opportunity for master students for their dissertations or project training. You might be wondering, can I do an internship during my bachelor's or even after your bachelor's? So I'm going to talk in this video about how to do an internship in a government CSAR laboratory after your bachelor's or during your time of your bachelor's. So I'm going to list out some of the CSIR laboratories that you can go and work even if you do your bachelor's degree or at the final year or after completing your bachelor's also there are some uh, opportunities that are available in some of the CSIR laboratory. Everything I'm going to do it in one video. So watch out the video completely and subscribe to the channel and click on to the bell icon so that you will be notified every time we post a video. So come along with me and let's get started to the video. So first let's talk about what are the CSIR laboratories that are in our country. So I'm very specifically going to talk about biological sciences. There are other uh, CSIR laboratory which are specialized in chemicals, which are specialized in engineering, mathematics, computer science. But today in this video, we're going to talk about CSIR laboratory for biological science. And I'm going to list out all the CSIR laboratories. So if anybody is looking for an opportunity in biological science is very specific then you can definitely go in for a screenshot so let me show it uh, for all of you you can just take a screenshot and then let's talk about uh, what are the institute you can go in for so this is the institute list uh, CSAR laboratory biological sciences uh, institute so it starts from CSAR CCMB CDRI and CIMAP CFTRI IGIB IHBT uh, double I C B triple I M and I M T I I T R N B R I. So these are some of the biological sciences department CSIR laboratory. So some of the institutes will provide opportunities to pursue your summer trainings or internship opportunities uh, for bachelor students while doing their bachelors or some of the institute after uh, doing your bachelors also. Some institutes will not provide for bachelors only for the postgraduate students they're going to provide. So I'm going to list out some of the institutes which provide for bachelors also. So first let's talk about CCMB. As we already know CSIR uh, CCMB which is present in Hyderabad is going to provide opportunity for postgraduate also. But does it provide for bachelors? Yes it is. So if I'm going to talk about the complete details it's going to be summer training program and the eligibility if you are in BTEC, B Farm program and if you have finished your third year so if you are, have finished your third year and you're going to enter into your fourth year or just completed third year you're going to go for the fourth year you'll be having a summer vacation during that period you can actually go and do an internship or if you have integrated btech mtech or bsc msc integrated if you have bsc or msc integrated then if you are in the eighth semester then you can also apply for the summer program so bachelor students yes you have an opportunity to go for an internship program at CCMB Hyderabad and the duration is going to be two months which is 60 days and what are the documents you would be requiring statement of purpose recommendation letter letter from your HOD or Dean of the Institute and the tentative date will be from March to April so by March or April if you go to CSA or CCMB during that period of time you can actually see the notification coming for summer training programs also so let's talk about the second institute so we have done with CCMB whether CDRI is going to provide any internship opportunity yes they do have for bachelor students so this is advanced training program as I already mentioned during bachelors or after bachelors not pursuing MSc here I'm going to highlight it is advanced training program for employees after bachelor's degree so the eligibility is going to be bachelors or equivalent degree in veterinary sciences pharmaceutical sciences biotechnology and science 
if you're belonging to any of the science background and if you're working in a government sector or private sector suppose you have completed your bachelor's and you're working in a private company but you would like to take up an internship program and cdra is going to provide you and the duration actually varies accordingly and these are some of the documents so you need to submit some of the documents which is an official letter from the head of the department of the organization who is going to sponsor you and photographs and aadhar card and demand draft towards your fees and if you want to contact and know about this one you can literally go and mail to this one which i have given here for your reference which is going to be a great help for all of you this is after your bachelor's if you're going to work in a company then you can definitely go for cdri also Okay, the fourth one is going to be CFTRA, uh, CIMAP, which is Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants, Lucknow, will not provide opportunity for bachelors. So I'm not going to talk about it. It's only for postgraduate student. So let's talk about CFTRA. So in Mysore. So this is the website. If anybody wanted to go and look in for this one, you can definitely go and look in for this. The eligibility you need to have is a seventy percentage of your mark if you're belonging to general category, and if you are SCST, then you need to have sixty percentage of your mark and in your current semester. Just now you have completed any of your uh, years that current semester, you need to have this mark, and the duration is of course maximum is two months only, and these are the documents. Like all your mark sheets of the uh, semesters, recommendation letter, bona fide certificate from the college or university, ID proof. It can be any of these things, and one passport size photograph. And the tentative date usually you can see in CFTRA if you go and check in over it accepts internship position all round the year. But you have to pay the fees, so the fees is going to be rupees ten thousand for two months. And if you wanted to pursue your internship program by April or May, then you have to um, apply for that some two three months before. So now let's talk about the fourth institute, which is CSIR IGIB Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology at Delhi. So this is the website so you can also look around to this website and this is going to be the approach is not going to be like notification will come and you will apply you can directly apply to the scientist if you are an undergraduate student you're pursuing and if you have your summer um, which will be coming on then you can apply approach the scientist whomever you wanted to work under and the duration is going to be specified period of training in the email when you are approaching the scientist itself you can tell them i wanted to have a training period of 2 or 3 months and when you are emailing them you have to include these uh, things when you are attaching in the email like your concise cv with educational details and your marks and research experience uh, how much is the research experience where you have done your research experience everything has to be in your cv and scan copy of your letter from the head of the department that you are a bona fide student and you would be in, uh, doing an internship everything you should mention over there and the tentative date is going to be all round the year so even in csir igib you can apply to the scientists all round the years and you have to pay a fees of 10000 for general candidates and also 5000 for scst students so this is available all round the year so all the bachelor students who are pursuing can definitely go for this So the sixth one is going to be CSIR NBRI, which is in Lucknow, which is uh, here. Also, they are going to provide an opportunity, but I'm going to tell you. Uh, when i ha when i was talking about the previous other institute mostly they uh, recruit undergraduate students also postgraduate also but this institute will not usually recruit undergraduate students only for postgraduate but there's another option i'm going to tell you this is the website If anybody wanted to take up a training for three days or fifteen days, then you can take up any of these things. So this is the website. You can go to this website and you can find a page like this: a bonsai technique, technique of vertical gardening, management of house plants and interior landscaping. If you wanted to take up any of the short term training. Even if you are an undergraduate student, then you can take up. But there is a fee specifically for each of these short-term training programs also. But when it comes to a long duration of the project, then you need to be a postgraduate student only. Okay. Now let's talk about the CSIR IICB, which is Indian Institute of Chemical Biology at Kolkata, and this is the website. This is a short-term training program, and this is the eligibility is going to be very important. you have to be selected either from biotech rice program so get to know what is this biotech rice program so we might come up with another video about it also an academy summer fellow if you have applied through insa 
ഐ എ എസ് ഇൻസ്പയോ ഓർ കെ വി പി വൈ ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് യു ഗോട്ട് സെലക്റ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് വെൻ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് മെൻഷൻ സി എസ് ഐ ആർ ഐ ഐ സി ബി ദറ്റ് യു വോണ്ടഡ് ടു ഡു ആൻ ഇൻറ്റേൺഷിപ്പ് ദെൻ ഡെഫിനറ്റ് യു കെൻ ഡു ഇൻറ്റേൺഷിപ്പ് ഓവർ ദർ ആൻഡ് ദ ഡ്യൂറേഷൻ ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി ഫോർ ടു മന്ത്സ് ദ ഓൾസോ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ഷോർട്ട് ടേം ഫെലോഷിപ്പ് സോ പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം കൊൽക്കത്ത ഓർ പീപ്പിൾ ഹു ആർ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് കെൻ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി അപ്ലൈ ഫോർ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സി എസ് ഐ ആർ ട്രിപ്പിൾ ഐ എം വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ഇൻറ്റഗ്രേറ്റീവ് മെഡിസിൻ അറ്റ് ജമ്മു സോ ഹിയർ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ വെബ്സൈറ്റ് Uh, especially for 2022 which has come i have written over there so the eligibility is btech and b pharma four year program or integrated btech mtech students from biotechnology biochemistry microbiology pharmacology allied areas pharmacy fermentation technology you can definitely apply for this one and the duration is for two months and these are the documents that you will be requiring application form so the notification will be keep coming in the month of june and marks sheets and your diploma your 12 certificate and all the semesters clear till now and a letter from the hod these are very important and usually the tentative date will be june month you can expect the notification coming and this is going to be the fee especially for be btech students it's going to be only for 2 months and the fees is 10000 for 2 months plus 18 percentage gst and this is about the csir triple i m you can actually apply for the next one is going to be csir imt which is institute of microbial technology in chandigarh and here this is a summer research fellowship and this is the summer training website you can go and check and this is for bsc students and the duration is for 2 months this is for bsc not for btech graduate and the mode of entry you have to apply through any of these things Na- nas national academy of sciences indian academy of science bangalore and indian national science academy in new delhi which means through insa if you're going to apply then you can easily get uh in csir imt chandigarh so the next is going to be if you wanted to enter into most of the csir laboratory i'm going to tell you a common protocol that you can do is in most of the csir laboratory you have to go to this website which i was talking about which is web uh, ias.ac.in fellowship this is for 2020 list is given so i'm going to show you this website which is srft so you can see indian academy of sciences INAS which is INSA and the National Academy of Sciences so there will be a notification which will be keep coming for the bachelor students at the final year for the summer training programs if you're going to apply through INSA which is Indian National Science Academy or IAS of um, Bangalore or National Academy of Sciences in uh, Delhi Allahabad very specially uh, you will be selected through this during the time of your application you can mention any of the CSIR laboratory that you wanted to go for an internship after that the selection list will be released in this website also so this is a very easy protocol of getting into some of the csir laboratory if you're looking for an internship position in a government csir laboratory this is one of the method or there are some other institute which always releases notification according to their conveniency so where you have to check in for their website or you can apply there is one opportunity is like some of the institute you can approach the scientists and you can also fetch some of the internship opportunity but the best way uh, for a bachelor student to get an internship position at uh, csir laboratory is through this one only through insa you can go for so if you type in insa 2022 or 2023 you will get uh, how you can actually apply for this one how you can select everything in detail so you can also check out at biotechnica's website where we will be also giving a notification about the fellowship that keeps coming so this is all about how you can do an internship in government csir uh, lab laboratories after your bachelor's degree or during your bachelor's degree also so i fa- i believe that this video is definitely going to be a great help if you are in your bachelor's final year or you are trying to get an internship opportunity at government laboratory this is all for you so thank you all of you for your time and i'm going to meet you back again with another video thank you